Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies in intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Okay. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you. It's being returned to you. It is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemy against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Okay? As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. So we have the number nine, which is the number of completion. Um, it says, it is, it is your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. I am compassionate. Amen. Hello, collective. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. Okay, we are starting out here with the two of wands followed by the wheel of fortune so you could be at the beginning of something new or you are about to embark on a new journey someone is going through some type of shift in life some type of chapter is ending you will be receiving some type of opportunity that's going to lead to a new beginning for you you may have people in here still trying to end this for you this is why we have this five of swords out here people are still trying to block your forward movement but as you as you can see we have the wheel of fortune out here which means that the divine is intervening uh something in here is going to go in your favor and someone that has been going against you is about to be losing quite a lot will be falling from grace you have people behind the scenes a whole community that has been working together to block your fortune block you from moving forward and getting on with your life but this is what's going to happen um someone is doing some type of magic behind the scenes someone is paying people to interfere with your forward movement block opportunities uh they may be paying someone to come in and give you some type of false friendship some type of false offer you don't have time for that someone is feeling overwhelmed someone is feeling overworked whatever plans they are uh plotting is not going to be working someone is burdened this could be a queen of wands that is burdened because Something she's been doing has been going on for quite a while and it's just not bearing the fruits that she thought, thought it was going to bear. This woman is losing quite a lot behind the scenes or who have already lost a lot behind the scenes. Someone may be losing a home, being put out, losing a job, being disowned by an institution as well. As you can see, we have the death under here. So someone is going through an ending that she just did not anticipate and she could be trapped in something or this is someone absolutely karmic. Someone is a thief, may have told people you stole from her or he may have told people that you stole from him. But in reality, they are the ones who are the thief. There's a fight going on amongst a family, a group of people because something has been exposed. They thought they had the authority in a situation they had the upper hand, but they do not. They are not able to defeat you or whatever they did you've already recovered from. And they're having a hard time with this. You have absolutely already recovered. You're a healer, so you heal naturally. Or you have the gift of healing and manifestation. This could be something these people want, but they cannot have because they're trapped. These are people with limited mindsets. So they can never really be you. Um, only you can be you. The gifts that you have are yours and yours alone. So this old whole notion of them wanting to have what belongs to you is just a figment of your imagination. There is absolutely chaos going on behind the scenes. All of the magic, the voodoo, he do, she do, they do, co do, is just not working. We don't do collective because we don't have to rely on magic to give us or garner anything for us. Okay? These people, excuse me, I almost choked on my spit. <laughs> excuse me these people are doing some type of ritual behind the scenes or someone is doing a ritual behind the scenes whatever action they took just did not go in their favor it actually led to a chapter being ended abruptly so they were not expecting this ending all of these illusions they cannot cause anymore excuse me <coughs> they cannot cause all of these illusions anymore because they're trapped in something that you have let go of a long time ago but a lot of these people are bitter and unhealed 
just did not age properly. They're trapped in something that just should have been not part of their journey a long time ago. A lot of these people fail to see things from a higher perspective, even if they are advised to do just that. Someone in here has been advised to see things from a higher perspective and they're choosing that. But a majority of this group, they are living with some type of bitterness. I'm telling you, having to walk away and things like that, but they don't want to. Tower. Then I said these people are going through some type of ending. It was all of a sudden. It's that they planned something and we're going to go and execute it. Like someone took action. As you can see, they were very much motivated and took action to come in you, but the universe interfered. A chapter is over. Someone is going through some type of ending. You put an end to this chapter and you have a new beginning coming in. The truth and clarity will be given to you. And this is going to bring balance into your life. I don't think you're sitting around waiting for someone to come in and give you clarity about any situation. You're not looking for closure. You already know what these people were trying to do to you, what they did to you behind the scenes. So you really don't care. But these people are desperate. So their last measure of doing things is to have someone come in and give you some type of funny fake false offer of friendship this could be someone you are familiar with but the most high is protecting you whatever offer there is a pentacles that was just on the bottom when i split the deck it's still secure for you no one can block it a lot of these people are dealing with some type of jealousy and insecurities a lot of them a lot of them were paid behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement you could have a king of source in here that's going through some type of ending or he's healing someone may have betrayed him and he's recovering from this betrayal he did not expect this someone betrayed you and then went through some type of betrayal as well this is karma for them this is balance i'm telling you and now maybe he's seeing things straight and wants to balance something out may want to collaborate with you and things like that there's a king of swords and a higher fin energy maybe this is a friend of his um who could possibly be a king of cups that's going through some type of ending they're trying to decide how to move forward because something they did just did not go according to plan both of these people trapped themselves in something they cannot get out of okay there's a whole coat coving coat like mentality going on here people just trapping themselves not realizing what it is they're getting into um it's a lot of characters you may just know a few people but there this is on a grander level than you are anticipating or than you may know all of these people are watching you to see how it is that you were able to acclimate this energy that is because you're a high priestess you're someone that's gifted you intuitively know what the heck is going on there's a high priestess in here as well that was working with these people she may have made some type of judgment against a king of wands to bring balance into a situation someone was misled a king of wands may have been misled as well in this situation someone may have lied to him um so some type of chapter is coming to an end because he's actively taking action to bring some type of chapter to an end this could be like people he was friends and friends with, with uh, for a long time this could have been family uh, family members that betray this masculine you and this masculine possibly has some type of soul contract to, together to work together maybe build a business together collaborate together but instead he collaborated with his friends and families that did not have his best interest at heart and now he's seeing the truth someone holds you on a very high pedestal i said ten of pentacles right you and this masculine had a contract together to work together build an empire together you are a healer a blessing he sees you as wish fulfillment but his family misled him um he's seeing the truth because something has been revealed to him your ancestors may be acting on your behalf um so some type of balance is being brought into this situation he may be feeling hopeless now about even coming towards you with an offer because you know exactly what took place there's something where he will have to confess have to, uh, before you two can move forward and i don't know if he's willing to do that whatever action a king of swords took against you it did not go in his favor it led to some type of ending for him someone is just reckless they don't think before they move they're quite the opposite of what a king of swords is uh what a king of swords is supposed to be there's a higher fin in here that's having a hard time recovering this is an actual character he may be someone that gets sick quite often and this is because of the energy he is projecting the energy he's transmitting into the environment it's coming right back to him so this is like someone doing spell work sending you some type of sick 
sickness energy, death energy, and it's going right back to them because that's their energy. That's what they put out. That's not your energy. These people are fighting behind the scenes uh, about working, how about them still working against you, working on you, sending you energy and things like that. Most of these people work together professionally, socially, whatever way you can think of. All of this was done to block a union, a twin flame connection, a soul twin connection from coming together. It's not going to work. These people are realizing that they committed themselves to something just idiotic. It's not going in their favor. They still want to commit themselves to it, though, because the notion of them coming together to destroy one person, but losing, which is what exactly is going on and it's always destined to be, is just hunting them, is playing with your ego. They're like, nah, we can't lose to this person, but the Most High has decided that they absolutely are going to lose. Someone in here, whoever you're supposed to work with, he is committed to giving you this offer because this is a, it's a pentacles offer. That means that this is an offer that's coming from the most high. So it is destined for you. This is a blessing out of nowhere that you are not expecting. You may not be expecting it, but these people knew that this whole time, this blessing was out here for you and they've been trying to steal it from you. Just not happening. Okay. The decision has been made. This is absolutely something you did not see. These people are planning another ritual for a full moon. It don't matter what full moon they're doing it under. It's not going to work. It's already been, the energy has already been transmitted, transmitted back to them before they even do the, the ritual. So they're wasting their time. Someone is absolutely, this group is absolutely planning to steal something from you and it's not going to work. Okay, they're wasting their time. You're showing up as the Empress energy. There is someone in here who is showing up as an Empress as well, but this is not the kind of Empress you want to be in her energy or, you know, messing with her. I don't know. I don't mean as far as you being afraid. I mean that this is someone toxic on, on in, in balance. This is one of those people you see them. They appear to be so calm, modest, classy, and things like that. But beneath the surface, this is a karmic at the core, okay? If you want to know how disastrous this person is, this is, this is the energy you should see when you see this person okay someone martyred themselves she knows she's doomed she knows that she basically sacrificed herself she refused to see things from a higher perspective she have left something go she was warned to let something go it's like someone picks a fight with you but you didn't do anything to them and time after time they're taking actions against you and being told to leave you alone stop doing what you're doing but someone is still stern like because they, this is because they want to be seen as an empress if you have to fight to be seen as an empress you more than likely are not an empress and in, in, in any light worker that is true to themselves can tell you that anytime you have to prove what you are you definitely are not that this is what you are. And this is exactly what this woman is. These people, they may be separating themselves from each other now. Like there's some type of conflict that's going on behind the scenes where they are separating, going their separate ways. Because whatever it is that they were planning to do is just not working. They're living in anxiety. Maybe trying to distance themselves from the groups and things like that because karma is hitting these people and you're still moving forward. Your pathway is still clear. The truth about this group is still clear out in the open. People see it. People know the truth. So if they've been out here trying to smear your character and you, it's out in the open. There's some type of investigation that's going on here. And maybe these people they didn't know that there was an investigation going on. I'm telling you. They may want to bring a fight to you, but that's not the wisest thing to do. Someone in here is very low vibrational and envious, disloyal, right? Uneducated. IQ is shaky, shaky at the bottom. It keeps shaking, trying to go up, but it's stuck at that level. It never will go up until this person heals to put in the work that they need to do. Someone has been stalking you quite a lot online, and this is someone that is absolutely obsessed with you. They watch you all day. This is all they do. They wake up morning, noon, night in between. They are watching you. Someone may not even be watching their ASS because they're so committed to watching you. On the surface, I'm telling you, on the surface, this person looks calm and ready. But deep down, <laughs> let me stop playing around. <laughs> We're doing Eminem over here. <laughs> On the, on, the, uh, on the surface, this person looks calm, right? Modest, put together, like nothing is going on. But beneath that, there's chaos going on. This person is wanting to fight, wanting to pick a fight with you, pick an argument. They, be, they, 
they may be watching you trying to bring problems to you but someone bringing problems to you would be the worst mistake of their life okay and uh, they may not want to because you're showing up in your emperor energy which means you are taking charge of your life you don't have time for the bs anymore you are checking people at the door before they even can turn the knob and say who are you what do you want oh i don't i'm not expecting you you're gonna have to go home send me a text message or call me and email me to let me know that you want to come over to visit if i'm not expecting you you're not allowed in here someone wants to come in and regurgitate some type of old friendship whatever it is you're not interested someone's having fond memories of you and this is because this is a plot for them to send someone in your energy to come in and cause you a tower to prevent you from closing the chapter, but it's not going to happen. Okay, you see the truth about this situation. You already know what it is. You know what it is. You don't, I'm telling you, you went in, you found out the truth, you know the truth, you are showing up in the hermit energy here. You know the truth, okay? There's nothing here someone needs to tell you where it's that, oh, I didn't know that was going on. Again, you're the queen of swords. You're sharp as a two-edged sword. You don't miss nothing, okay? So whoever is coming into your energy, they're just coming in to mislead you. This is their last trick up their sleeve. They say, hey, if I go in and extend some type of friendship, pretend to be their friend, maybe they'll believe us and we can trick them. Someone is burdened about coming into your energy because they know you know the truth. You are a truth seer, truth seer, truth teller, truth hearer. So they got to be mindful with how they approach you because you read energy very well. You read the room. You don't need anyone explaining anything to you. You may stay quiet, um, but honey, you know the truth. Okay, you know the truth. You don't have to wonder. It's fair to you naturally. As soon as someone comes in your energy source, say, hey, uh-uh not this one stay away from them so you know the truth i'm telling you you know the truth you're pure hearted you operate with love so you're always being fed information so there's really not much these people can do again they are living in fear and anxiety they don't know exactly what to do how to move forward most of these people are living in fear because they know what's coming the karma that's coming for them they thought it was all funny funny games at first and then spirit stepped in it's not funny anymore someone could be passing away someone could be sick whatever plan they had it just it's been undone it's that they were planning to do something and before they could even take action it was dismantled spirit would say uh-uh we we're done we're done dismantle it was dismantled these people, some of them are planning rituals and things like that. Oh, the, there's a full moon coming up. These people keep track of the moon cycle better than they keep track of their bank accounts, better than they, than they keep track of their work schedules, okay? Some of these people don't even know anything that's going on with their children, their parents, grandparents, nothing. But honey, they know the moon cycle, like the back of their hands. They know exactly when to go, when to meet together so they can do their ritual, uh, do, 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 whatever, it, whatever the heck it is they say around these moon cycles, the spells. With don't get me to lie to you. I don't need to recite spells to manifest anything in my life. So I can't tell you what these people uh, uh, recite. If I want to listen and hear it, I can, but honey, I don't care about any of that. These people get around faithfully around every full moon, new moon, whatever moon to do their spell work. They've been doing it for so long on you. It's redundant at this point. Some of you are sitting back, sources showing you these people carrying out their moon cycles, rituals, and you're just laughing your behind up or just bombastic side eyeing them, criminal offensive side eyeing these people is that again like you haven't learned your lesson yet aren't you too old to be repeating this mess yeah honey it's disappointing look at that <laughs> there's a prophecy that has been fulfilled and it's terrifying these people it's that people coming let's say i'm a terror reader of course people coming to my platform and i'm predicting something and they're sitting there laughing not taking it serious and then all of a sudden boom a prophecy is fulfilled now they are terrified because they know there's more to come and it, it absolutely is there is more to come you are being removed from some type of environment some type of situation away from someone specific or a group of people specific to have a brand new life okay balance has been brought into this situation source wants you to know that so all of these plans these wicked and malicious plans these people have uh-huh they're not coming into fruition. Someone here is having a hard time starting over because you're still moving forward. They trapped themselves in something. Someone is stuck in their mind. 
stuck in their mind about an earth angel still being able to move forward with your life, still having hope, still having a brand new passionate beginning, they're disappointed. It's that we did everything to block this person, to cause them loss. How is it that we are the ones experiencing the loss? This is not how it was supposed to go. This is not how it was meant to be lies this is how it was always meant to be okay you could have someone that's trying to come in take some type of impulsive action to mislead you just like i said uh-huh come in with some type of false relationship offer it's not happening it's not happening this could be a king of pentacles it was about to come in the reverse so i'm going to expect that that person is someone that is greedy unpragmatic uh non-practical here we go with our knight of cups energy someone is coming in to gaslight you it could be that king of pentacles he's desperate he has lost a lot may have even lost a relationship or his finances is in shambles he's lost a lot so he thinks coming in now to give you some type of breadcrumbing offer is going to lead to some type of balance being brought into a situation or lead you to wanting to stay in some type of toxic environment situation with someone it i don't know what it is it's not going to work okay this is a ritual this is something they are planning this is a secret and this secret is being revealed to you so be very wary of anyone coming into your energy um sending you a message anything right this is a mistake they're making they don't see what really is about to happen they're ending themselves okay so don't worry about anything do not worry about nothing they need to someone needs to seek advice from a different energy whoever they've been asking for advice is just not who they are supposed to be talking to you are moving on source is elevating you okay this is not something these people can block okay this i'm telling you this is not something these people can block because you are destined to have rebirth new life a new journey okay and your enemies are going through endings 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 this is miserable this is sad and pathetic can you imagine i'm telling you impulsive action worry burden can you imagine warning a group of people not to do something but they keep doing it repeatedly because they've been allowed to get away with it for so long only to realize that they've trapped themselves thinking that they were trapping you someone needs to seek advice from a different energy there's an energy that is giving advice that should not be giving advice and it could be a king of cups that's giving advice a queen of cups a queen of wands ill advising people to do something that should not be doing but i don't know what the obligations are to this person that people keep listening to them there's clarity in this situation you can't hide anything anymore someone cannot hide their sorrows anymore someone cannot hide their loss anymore or the finances they've lost Due to committing themselves to something very treacherous that they never knew was going to end this way it was always meant to end this way there is clarity someone is burdened because you know the truth so they're going to have difficulties coming in to mislead you someone knows you do not have any emotions for them they don't have any control over you they're not able to come in and mislead you thinking that to have you thinking that you two are meant to be, you don't have a soul contract with this person. Someone is just greedy, superficial, vain, easily manipulated. Someone has manipulated this person out of their soul contract. So now they're desperate. You are putting someone's life to help them. They turn sideways, listen to some idiot around them. They're going through an ending. This is a death they cannot prevent. And I don't mean a literal death. But what this person is about to go through, they're going to wish that they weren't here no more. Someone finances is being depleted in a way, yeah, that they can't even imagine. They're not able to come in and gaslight you. They're not able to come in and gaslight you. This is someone that plays with people's emotions, okay? Someone that plays with people's emotions. They don't even have control of their own emotions, but they want to come in to make to manipulate your emotions and the minute they come into your energy you're reading them like well, what is this clown doing why is this clown coming towards me look 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 he's getting out of the car look he's about to put on that thick smile that sad voice of his that pathetic voice of his the devil comes with a soft-spoken voice and we see right through you look at this mess look 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 look, look. he's coming closer He's about to say the dumbest thing ever, but he thinks it's the brightest thing ever. And then they open their mouth and say exactly what you knew they were going to say. And you end them. You put an end right there. You cut them off. 
Someone cannot come in your energy though because you see right through them. They don't know how you do that as HRT. They're trapped in their head. Someone is stuck in something going through financial life. I'm telling you, whatever this person is about to go through is worse than what they could have imagined. Someone is about to wish they never partner up with these people to go up against you. And he knows a little bit about what's about to happen, but he does not understand the magnitude of the situation. But that's okay. Source is going to help him figure it out. Source is going to help him understand just what it is he did to himself. Next time someone else comes to him with an offer to take down a star sea, an earth angel, a healer, he would think twice before he accepts that offer. He would think twice, okay? Source is this mentally a group so that when you step into your new abundance, your new beginning, they're not able to do anything. Source is going ahead of you. Your ancestors are going ahead of you to make things easier, to clear the pathway for you, to secure certain blessings for you so people are not able to temper with it. You are about to connect with your soul trap members, people that think exactly like you, have the same interest as you, resonate on the same frequency and vibration as you. So when these clowns come into their energy and try to change their mind about you or speak ill of you, they will be checked at the door. Some of you are about to step into institutions and organizations that will be backing you up and looking out for you, but they won't tell you a word. That's how secure you're about to be, okay? Someone is freeing themselves from bondage. Someone was trying to hold this person in some type of false relationship because of the finances, maybe the wealth or whatever. Someone does not give a damn anymore. They're letting go. It's like, I don't care. You can keep out of that. We have all this wealth, but we're unhappy as heck. I'm not happy with you. I want to go on with my life and be free. So someone is freeing themselves from the devil, and the devil is not happy. The devil, as in this institution, someone may want to come in now and gaslight you. Oh, yeah. They're not happy about this. They're not happy about this. They're not happy. Someone wants to come in now and gaslight you about some type of offer, and this is hopefully to keep you you know second guessing yourself you're not second guessing nothing you're going on to connect with your soul tribe members it is time to unite with people that are like-minded as you okay and your enemies are going through burdens they're trapped <laughs> these people thought you were trapped in something you're not you're not trapped you rely on source for everything everything okay some people, because they have a little bit of money in their pocket, they think they're invincible, they're powerful, they have some type of control. Someone is moving from institution to institution, paying people to block your forward movement, to bully you, and they're about to meet their match. Someone is about to check on energy in a way where honey is going to humble this person. Someone thinks because they have money, they can bribe everybody, and they are about to be shut down in a way where they'll be trapped in their mind. They won't be able to get out of there and say, well, I offer you a million dollars and you're telling me you're not going to accept a million dollars just to bully someone. And they're going to look at him like he's a clown. Like They're going to be like, no, we're logical over here. We use common sense over here. Okay. Someone does not know how to use their common sense at all. Common sense is not a flower in every garden and it's not in this person's garden. Can you imagine, Collective, taking money out of your account to go pay people behind the scenes to bully someone? And then think about the people that are even accepting the bribery to bully someone. It's a class of idiots. Birds of a feather flock together. Birds of a feather flock together. Okay? Mm -hmm. Someone, there's a group of people that are going ahead of you. Anytime you're supposed to receive some type of offer, they go ahead of you to block it because they want to trap you. But you're free to go. You're free to go. You are free to go. Okay? Source has given you options. So these people are really just disappointing themselves. They're disappointing themselves. They want to come in and give you some type of breadcrumbing offer, but they're disappointing themselves. You're not interested. Someone is about to give you some type of pathetic offer, and you're going to leave there and their offer standing right where they are. Uh-huh. They want to make it seem like it's a solid offer. It's not. <laughs> it is not. There's a man that's wealthy. He's about to 
go and pay someone to block another offer for you and it's about to be the worst mistake of their life because they're about to be exposed in the worst way possible okay let source take care of this matter let source take care of it let them take care of it don't hurt your head or anything someone is securing their own fit your own ending i'm telling you they're they're securing something for themselves and they don't know that someone Someone does not know that they're about to go and approach someone that's already successful and does not need their money. This is like a clown that's used to being able to bribe everybody and say, hey, I'll give you $10,000 if you will block this person. They're about to meet someone that's already successful in business and they don't care about none of that. It's like, I have my own money. I have my own money. I don't, I don't participate in stupid stuff, little boy, little girl stuff like that. What the heck may you think that I would be interested in scooping down to your level? Huh? Why would I want to be a clown? I'm someone of self-respect. So the other clowns in the past that were, were willing to take that bribery from you, they obviously didn't have any money. They didn't have any boundaries or common sense. That's why they took it from you. That's why they accepted that offer. Lord have mercy. Someone is about to hum be humble in the worst way possible, and it's going to play on their ego. They're thinking about how they can go in to approach this new institution, this new uh, environment, community, whatever this is. They're trying to figure it out. They said, where is this person going? So we can go ahead of them and cause blockages. And they're about to make the worst. I'm telling you, the worst mistake, because someone does things the right way. Whoever he's about to approach, this business owner, he does things the right way. He does not care how much you're offering him. He's not swayed by money because he has his own money. The only people you can sway by money are people that are not used to money, people that are desperate for money, people that are superficial, don't have any boundaries, are insecure, immature, unhealed. Okay? Someone is about to meet their match, and it's justice. We're going to leave it right there. Someone is about to approach a businessman. Oh, honey, I wish I was there for you collective to witness this. Someone is about to come out with their little bread crummy offer to give it to a businessman. And say, hey, this person is coming to work for you. We need you to bully them. This person that works for you, we need you to bully them. And he's going to look at them. He or she is going to look at them. Like, are you serious? What in the world did I do that made you think that I'm this stupid? Do I look stupid to you? Do I look stupid to you? I don't want your friendship. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want your money. I don't need your money. Someone is about to be humble because someone is very much accustomed to be able to be to being able to bribe people into his pocket into his hand so then he can have he can have you like a uh, 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 wrapped around his little finger he can tell you what to do when to do it hey go drive to this person's house and make them feel uncomfortable hey go break into this person's phone go log into their email accounts or bully them someone is about to be humble Everyone, as I say always, everyone has their day in court. And whoever this buffoonery is, is about to have his day in court. And it's going to be by a business owner that is just, he does things the right way. He does not care how much money you have. He does not care what you said someone did. He's one of those people that has to see it for himself. I got, I'm, I'm going to see for myself. You said this person is this way. Well, I'm going to wait till they do that. If they don't do it, then good. If they do it, then I know what to do. Someone has a mind of his own. Lord is about to be beautiful. Beautiful. Okay? Someone is very dumb. Borderline mental illness, sociopath plus psychopath is an alarming combination. And people do not know it. But because he has money, people have been taking money from him, accepting money from him to do stupid things. And they don't realize this person is mentally imbalance i don't even want to say the r word on here but this person is that and you have all these idiots following him around or her around taking money from them do you know how retarded it is for someone to be taking money out of their bank account to be paying just so you can bully someone and block someone else's future 
Someone literally has that added to their expenses. Make it make sense, collective. This is the, this is the this is stuff only dumb rich people think of. This is stuff only dumb rich people think of. And someone is burdened because people see the truth about them. You may have people behind the scenes like distancing themselves from this person. They don't want to be seen with him or her. It's like, oh, this is what you've been doing. You told us this person was dumb. You told us this person was a dark worker. You told us this person stole from you. And they're finding out that no one stole from this person. No one did anything to this person. Someone is just immature and insecure. They're intimidated by another energy, so they've been following this energy around to cause stagnation. And you have a bunch of idiots that are old in age, not mature in, not mature in any sense of the word. They're just aging every day in numbers. Don't know how to put two plus two together. You know that Kevin Hart saying two plus two, not knowing what the F it is, B? Yeah, that would be this group, members in these groups. Common sense, they don't have it. Three, right? 21, three. Again, connecting with your soul tribes, genuine alliances, compassion, people you resonate with. This is what's ahead of you. Another three, three, right? Six. Sailing on to calmer waters, moving on with your life, healing, going through a spiritual transition, elevating, ascending. Four, protection, security, divine uh, a law from beings around you, spiritual beings watching over you, letting you know that you are okay, you are protected, you are supported. Let's go on. You are highly created with a strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged. It reveals itself in everything you do, from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. I am inspiring. 12, 12, 33, 6. Stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. I am focused. Please do stay focused on your journey. You'll have idiots like this always in life that think it's their purpose to come in and cause stagnation or uh, to block something from you not knowing they're just blocking themselves and exposing themselves and ending themselves. Someone in here is, a, is about to lose everything. There's a couple in here that's about to lose everything. They have problems coming in. They were expecting to get some type of good news. Uh-huh. They didn't get the good news. People are distancing themselves from these people. People are distancing themselves from these people. Okay? Okay. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are. I am awakening. I'm telling you. Three. Alliances. Genuine alliances. People that resonate on your frequency and vibration people that understand you people that actually care about things that matter in the world in life not this childish little boy little girl stuff we're going to get together and block someone's future we're going to get together and bully someone are you kidding me you mean at your age that's how you think you don't feel ashamed to even let that come out of your mouth really some of you have neighbors that don't even want to come out of their homes because you see right through them. They've been throwing energy at you. It's not working. It's going right back to them. They're ending up with health issues, getting in accidents and things like that. So down, they don't want to come out of their homes, their houses, their suites, their condos. Because spirit is stepping in and returning those energies right back to them. Just like they should. That's called balance. Anyways, thank you for watching, Collective. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.